Hey folks, welcome to another episode in the series um, about my spoon carving toolkit. Um, I see that people are very interested in what I'm using and what um, people carving a lot of spoons as well as a job, what we're using in our toolkit um, for making these lovely little guys. Yeah, today I want to talk about maybe the most easy to get, um, the most affordable great Sloyd blade out there, so a straight blade for spoon carving and crafting. And I want to talk about The type 106 or 106 blade from Mor from Mora, Mora of Sweden, or Eric Frost, Mora Sweden, um, different blades out there. Um, I want to say type 106 because um, there's quite a lot of blades out there um, from Mora. They're shorter, longer, have different types handles. Um, there's a worn cliff or a sheep's foot blade with a straight. Um, edge and a round spine out there as well. I think what I want to say about these knives is pretty much true for all of them so um, that's why I'm just talking about the basically the Mora carving blades. Um, what I'm talking here about is, is not 100% true um, maybe for the, the classic line and for the hook knife line. So this here is probably the first Sloyd type carving knife that I ever bought myself from Mora and a lot of different Moras um, were before and followed but this one here is particularly designed to carve with. Right off the bat um, what you see here is um, a laminated construction. It's probably pretty easy to see the lamination line here. So. Um, this blade is constructed from three layers of different steels. Um, as far as I know, um, they are all carbon steels, although um, I think the outer layer is a little bit softer. I did quite a little bit of modification to this knife, so um, don't worry about the handle, it's not particularly pretty. But it was very suitable for my hand. Um, and I did a little bit of milk paint on it um, and oiled it probably a million times. Um, so don't mind the handle please. Um, you can buy these blades by themselves, you can buy um, the knives with handles. They're sometimes a little bit too short. Um, this one is long which makes it really really suitable for all kind of grips when you carve with um, this knife. So um, yeah, the handle is not topic of this review or this overview. What I did to the blade though um, despite, of course, I'm sharpening it over the last three years, probably a hundred thousand times. Um, so it lost a little bit of material, but there's still quite a lot there. So um, I'm not seeing a lot of material loss, but I put a sharpening notch in here. This is a part of the blade that I never use. Um, and this little notch here makes it a lot nicer and easier to sharpen this knife without getting this ugly little recur recurve down here. Um, so I just went with this and I also do that on my own custom knives, the knives that I make. I always put a little choil in here um, that's aesthetical but especially practical when it comes to sharpening. Um, the Mora Sloyd knives, um, the whole line, um, has a rather shallow straight beveled grind. So you could call it a Scandinavian grind, but um, since this is used for woodworking around the globe, I rather like um, calling these grinds um, straight bevels. And in this case we're actually talking about less than 20 degrees. And um, that has an advantage and a disadvantage. On one side these knives fly absolutely through green wood. So um, as far as you know, starting spoon carving and what knife to get, there's absolutely no doubt that if you're a little bit on a budget or you just want to um, get yourself a little kit, just get yourself any kind of Mora um, straight 
laminated carving knife and you're gonna be absolutely happy now that being said um, if you're carving spoons on a daily basis um, as I did over the last year in Canada um, selling spoons at craft shows going to bigger smaller fairs um, and doing a lot of carving and a lot of different woods especially you know you're coming across um, some harder woods like this is some um, buckthorn for example this is incredibly tough wood um, we have some dams in here that I carved two years ago in Japan this grind would suffer on these woods and I'm we had a, had a lot of problems over the last year maybe taking you know being a little bit too extreme on the grind getting a lot of edge rolling um, to a degree that we were actually wondering if the heat treat of these blades is somehow off the further you the further down you get in the, in the steel or something like that but I think um, they're coming with a pretty extreme angle and um, that angle is really perfect for um, green birch and um, the like green wood carving um, as far as you know maple birch um, maybe some walnut but and cherry of course but um, it has its limitations um, and again I want to mention here that although maybe people who carve a lot of spoons and who are into spoon carving and greenwood craft and whatnot um, get themselves rather expensive from custom knives after a while with higher end steels like ball bearing steel silver steel um, and whatever else is out there um, I don't think that there's any spoon carver out there seriously who does not own some kind of Mora 106 Mora um, 120 um, anything along those lines of those Mora carving blades they are incredible for the money you pay for them what you get is absolutely close to perfect I would say um, so yeah of course I have my custom knives by now I make my own carving blades I buy them as um, you know my Nick Westerman blade for example I make my own hook knives but I still own hook knives from Hans Carlsen and Nick Westerman um, but still I will always have my my Mora um, in this case a 106 in my carving lineup I can recommend it without hesitation to anybody who wants to um, start carving spoons um, or whatever else within the greenwood realm and um, yeah I think as far as some um, overview um, that's the best I can do so far um, I made a sami type sheath for this knife try not to pierce myself on camera um, so this snaps in place just like that it's riding on my belt every single day when I put on my gear belt this is on my hip I do my um, I do my um, roughing out with this knife and then I take it to the, the Nick Westerman Sloyd knife for the finishing cuts but um, as far as roughing out goes with this grind this flies through wood like a laser bringing in a uh, cherry blank that was lying in the snow obviously um, just to suck up a little bit of moisture because this cherry got way too dry for me so that's the method how I get some moisture back in there and especially for wood like cherry when it's hard this is gonna be hard work to carve this stuff but the finish I get with this Mora knife it's incredible another big fan of the Mora 106 and Mora knives within the spoon carving society so to say is um, Jeff Ballantyne from Noble Woodcraft um, and he puts the most insane grind on his Mora knives I've ever seen but um, he gets a finish on wet green wood that is so perfectly smooth that it's shining like glass although he's um, like me finishing his spoons when they're still green um, and he's doing all of that with the regular Mora 106 blade um, so 
yeah, what can I say? This knife um, has my 100% recommendation. It's a um, irreplaceable part of my spoon carving kit, and um, I hope you folks had a good time watching. And this was of any help for you guys. Um, please check out the other um, videos on my channel, all the tutorials and reviews about tools, my carving axe series, um, and yeah, please just leave some feedback, subscribe to the channel, and I hope wherever you are, you're safe and you're having a good time carving spoons and enjoying the outdoors, and I'm gonna see you next time, folks. Cheers.